Hi guys, it's Gina here and today I've got a makeup tutorial and I'm going to show you how I created this sweetheart look. And this is using mostly Too Faced and Benefit products. So let's go. Oh, please excuse my face. I know it's looking really bad at the moment, but I've been sick and feeling really crap. So I'm hoping that this makeup look will kind of make it look more lively. So to do that, I'm using this How to Look the Best at Everything. This is the Flawless Complexion Kit by Benefit. And first thing I'm going to do is use the Pore Professional Pore Filler. This is used to minimize the appearance of pores and I'm going to apply that to pretty much the center on my face on my T-zone, concentrating on the nose and my chin and forehead as well. Now for my face, I'm using the Hello Flawless Oxygen Wow Foundation, and this is in I'm So Money Honey. Now, it is slightly a water-based foundation, so I'm using a beauty sponge to apply this today, and I'm applying it with padding motions as well as blending it in small circular motions as well. I probably wouldn't recommend this if you're breaking out because it doesn't give a full coverage, but I'm just going through with the end of the sponge and just patting more product on just places that are darker or more red for extra coverage as well. Now using the boy in, I'm guessing this is a concealer, this is in colour 2 and 3, I'm going to mix this together to achieve my shade and apply this under my eyes as well as the T-bone just to give it a little bit more colour as well as give it a bit more definition as well. Now the bronzer that came with the kit was a little bit light for my skin colour so I'm going to go ahead and use the Anastasia Beverly Hills contour kit and I'm going to use one of the brown shades there to contour my face as well as my nose and eyes as I would normally. Now using the actual bronzer that came with the kit I'm actually going to use that as a setting powder because the foundation was a bit um, more runny. I'm going to use this to set my face with a flat dense brush. Now on to the brows. I'm using the Gimme Brow in medium deep and I'm going to use this to fill in any sparse areas just to give it more of a fuller look. Now I'm not going to go through and line my brows because I want to give it more of a natural shape. Sometimes if you define your brows too much it can change the whole look and I feel for a sweetheart look it looks better just nice and natural. Now to minimize products I'm actually going to use the Love Flush 16 hour blush wardrobe as an eyeshadow as well. So the first thing I want to do is use the Baby Love which is a nice soft taupe kind of color and I'm going to use that with a blending brush and blend that into the socket of my eyes just to give it more definition and make it look a little bit deeper. It's also going to be used as a transition colour. Then with Your Love is King, which is like a pinkier kind of dark taupe, I'm going to use a small dense brush and line that into the crease of my eyes just to make it slightly deeper to give me less of a monobrow. Now I'm using How Deep Is Your Love, which is a corally peachy colour, and I'm going to apply that on my eyelids by using an eyeshadow brush. Now at the end of the day, this is a blush set, so it won't come out as pigmented, so you've got to apply um, a bit more product. Alternatively, what you can do as well is, before you apply eyeshadow, is to prime it with eyeshadow primer. Now to blend it together and make my eyes bright, I'm going to go back to the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit and use the pinky shimmery colour to apply a bit on the corners of my eyes just to make my eyes look a little bit brighter and also on my brow bone just to blend in with the whole eyeshadow look so it looks more blended. For eyeliner, I'm using their Real Push Up Liner. And this is actually a really good eyeliner. However, it's really difficult to use because of the rubbery tip at the end. But what I find it is that you need to pinch a little bit of product at a time and apply it bit by bit. If you push too much like this amount and you apply it on your eyes, what you'll find once you start applying it is a big chunk of it will actually fall off. So it's best to pinch a little bit at a time and apply a little bit at a time just so you can get the liner nice and thin, um, otherwise it will be a really big mess. For my bottom waterline, I like to use the Maybelline Unstoppable 
eyeliner because it's not as black and dark as the Benefit one and it just blends in a lot better to make it look a little bit more natural. For mascara, I'm using the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. This is a travel size. I thought I didn't have a Benefit one, but it turned out I did. But I'm just going to use this one anyway. And this one is really good if you naturally have long lashes, but just want to make it a little bit thicker and give it volume. Um, but for me, it gave me volume, but it didn't really give me length. So I'm just going to add some false eyelashes on top of this as well. Now back to the Love Flash Blush Wardrobe Kit. I'm using Love Hangover as a blush. So I'm going to apply that with using my blush brush. And I'm going to apply that to the apples on my cheeks and work my way back. Now because it's a sweetheart look, you want to make sure you apply it to the apples of your cheeks. Just so it makes your cheeks look rosy. And I'm also going to go back to the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit. I'm going to use one of the lighter colours to highlight my cheeks as well. Just to make it look a little bit more refreshed and lively. And for the lips, I'm going to be using the NYX Lip Liner in Natural. I'm going to use this to line my lips and give it more of a shape. And also because the lip gloss I'm going to be using today is slightly lighter and it kind of washes out my lips. So the lip gloss I'm going to be using is by Too Faced. And this is the Melted Peony, which is a nice rosy, like a muted rose kind of colour. And I'm going to apply that to the centre of my lips and slightly pat that out. And voila, that is the final look. So it's not, too, the makeup isn't too heavy and it's more of a natural kind of sweet look. So I hope you like this look. If you do, please give me a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to watch more videos. Thanks for watching. Bye.